Let's take a few moments and discuss directory navigation. Now this is basically going to teach us different methods for moving around inside of the directory structure of the Linux operating system. Now first and foremost, a directory is simply a container or a level in a hierarchy that will usually contain either other directories or files. Now we're going to place files inside of directories as opposed to placing directories and files. So we'll be restricted to either placing a directory in a directory or a file in a directory. And if you're familiar with the folder concept of the Microsoft Windows operating system, it's very simple. And it's also exactly the same as what Linux uses. Now, of course, our directories are going to be inside of each other and several layers deep, which means ultimately they will form a hierarchy with the root of those directories being at the top, which is denoted by a forward slash character. So you know, if you can see on the left-hand side, your shell information will show you your current working directory. And there are also some neat tricks I'll show you as well. Now, the total directory tree that we use in commands and navigation are referred to as a path. So basically, if we want to access something, we have to know the path to be able to get to it. Now, all directories will be a subdirectory or child directory of another directory. The only exception to that rule is the root directory. Because it is at the very top of the tree, everything else will be below that root directory. So let's take a quick look at some of the directories and some quick navigation tips to move around inside of the directory structure for Linux. Now, as you can see right now, next to my logon information, we have root. And that's actually the current folder that I'm in. Now, it can be a little confusing because that's not actually the root of the file system. As a matter of fact, if I try to navigate backwards, you can see now we have that forward slash character denoting that I'm at the root of the directory structure. So if I want to move back to the root folder, I can do so very simply by using CD or change command and then the name of the directory I want to relocate to. Now as we move forward, absolute paths versus relative paths is something I want to talk about for a minute. An absolute path is when you use the full path name, moving all the way back to the root or the forward slash directory. And as you can see here, if we wanted to navigate to the documents directory of the J. Smith home folder, then we can type in the full or absolute path of that particular directory. Now on the flip side, we can also use relative paths. Now the relative path relies on the existence of the subdirectory or child directory inside of your current working directory. And what this allows us to do is shorten the length of our commands. So let's say, for example, that I want to navigate to the CD-ROM directory. So let's take a look at how we might accomplish that. Now as it stands, I'm back in the root directory. Now I want to go ahead and relocate myself to the actual root directory itself. Now there's two different ways I can make it to the CD-ROM directory. First of all, I can navigate to the absolute path by typing the full path in. Now if I don't want to do that, I can actually make that navigation a different way. So now we're back at the root directory. I can change first to the mount directory or the MNT directory followed by the CD-ROM directory. So that allows us to use that relative navigation. Now, there are several additional commands that will allow you to perform navigation in and out of various directories on the file system. As you can see here, one of the commonly used commands is the PWD command, which will basically tell you where you're at currently. Now this can be pretty handy because the shell itself will only show you what the name of your current directory is. So if you're very deep inside of the directory 
itself or several layers deep inside many directories, using the pwd command can be pretty helpful by showing you where you stand. Now, as you've already seen, the cd command or change directory command can be used to move forward or further down into the directory structure or by coupling it with an absolute path. And in addition, we can couple that with the space dot dot command, and that will actually provide us the ability to move back one directory. And finally, just a quick mention of the ls command, which will allow you to list the contents of a directory, which is pretty handy. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the ls command. Now, as you can see, we actually don't have any files inside of our CD-ROM directory. So I'm going to move back to the root directory and do a quick ls. And these are the files that exist within the root folder. And we'll get more into detail with ls as we move forward through our movies.